That's right, there you have it, folks. This is going to be the last in the One of Every Masters series. I have been going through these boxes for about two years now, I think. Um, trying to drop a video every one month or two or so. Um, there's actually 23 episodes in this series because I took one pack from each of these boxes to do my one of every pack ever almost uh, pack opening series. So but this is the last. We're going to end up with a box topper from the Ultimate Masters and the Double Masters box. We're going to get into these and see what is in here. Finally, once and for all, finish out these boxes. It's been a great series. I've really enjoyed doing it. A lot of people have commented that this is like one of their favorite series that I've done. So I really appreciate everyone who's watched me do this for quite some time now. And so here's the culmination of it. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Um, we will save. And of course, I know I add in the Modern Horizons 1 and 2 um, for fun. They're not really master sets, but I like them. So we're going to do them. We'll save the box toppers for the end because of course we will there we go so and of course we will be scanning up the rare at least unless there are some other good commas and uncommons and stuff in there let's do it modern masters 2013 the one that kicked it all off fun time so we got a lava spike pretty good common right off the bat i'm going to scan that one just to see it's actually 388 for the original I will switch it up. Bear with me while I do that. The Modern Masters version of 372. Off to a good start here with the commons. We'll put it there. Stinkweed Imp, another good common. And it saw it wrong. I may not change all of these because, you know, it just takes extra time. So we got a Grape Shot, Dispeller's Capsule, Aether Spell Bomb, Pepper Smoke. Got a Murderous Red Cap, which when I started. Uh, Going through magic cards a few years ago, this card was over a dollar. I don't think it is over a dollar now. Nope, it's not. Sand Sower. Path to Exile. Very good uncommon. There we go. And the rare is a Scion of Una. 545. That one we will change to the Modern Masters. They keep reprinting that card, but it never gets old. Scion of Una. Two in a blue. Flash Flying. Other fairy creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And they have Shroud, so nice little... Fairy Lord there, 942. Off to a running start with Modern Masters 2013. Mirror Enforcer, it's got affinity for artifacts as a foil. Should we check it? Ah, it doesn't like the foil. Oh, it did, okay, hold on. As a foil, Mirror Enforcer is 85 cents. It's worth picking. There we go. 2015, the zipper box. Say what you want about it. It is easy to open. <laughs> All right, we've got a spawn token. We've got a blood ogre. Oops. Apostle's blessing. Steady progress. Vines of vastwood. Good common. Maybe not more than 90 cents or so. The ink on these are kind of dark. It's actually like messing with the scanner a little bit. Anyway, vines of vastwood. Maybe it's worth a little bit. We've got a dark steel citadel. Husk, Flash Freeze, Bestial Menace, Sigil Blessing, and the rare Surikar Spellblade, nothing big. One and two blue, whenever you cast an instant or sorcerer spell, you may put a charge counter on it. Deals combat damage to a player, you may draw X cards or X the number of charge counters on it. That's a good card. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And there's a full. Alright, here we go. Eternal Masters. Going through it. Like I said, thanks again to everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Having fun here. I'm dying rage. Ah, we got a nice little crimp error here. Screeching scab. A nice little crimp. We'll put that into the, the rare pile. Community of the gods. Stupefying touch. Eye. We got Calciderm. Honden of Infinite Rage. You gotta scan the shrines up nowadays. 364 reprinted again. Eternal Mass is three bucks. We got a Worn Power Stone. Whoops, I skipped it completely. Malicious Affliction. Worn Power Stone is a little bit. Malicious Affliction for two black is an instant with morbid. When you cast it, if a creature dies this turn, you may copy Malicious Affliction and may choose new t target for the copy. Destroy target non black creature. 
And then we got a foil young pyromancer, which is pretty decent too. 250 and then a foil pyromancer. Been reprinted several times as well as a foil. It is 248. There we go. So trucking right along here to Modern Masters 2017. <clears throat> the Mist Raven. Guildgate. Jester. Power and Fear. Soul Warden. Um, yeah, it's actually over a buck again. So it's been coming back up. Mystical Teachings. We got a Thundersong Trumpeter. Got a miracle coming up, apparently, I saw. Ancient Grudge. Arachnus Spinner. Boris Reckoner. Great card. I love this card. Uh, hybrid White and Red for three. When it's still damage, it deals that much damage to target creature or player. You can make it gain first strike. So, this is there's a, just a couple cards that have this uh, ability this and the Spite Mare. Um, and uh, Stuffy Doll. And I guess there's a few other cards that are like that. So, Minotaur Wizard. 89 cents for the gate crash version that's probably not much different and then a foil thunderous wrath is a common I don't think as a foil it's going to be worth a whole lot iconic masters here we go survival cash halberdier maggot I'm trying to spoil the ending here bewilder blinding mage selesnia sanctuary Abzan Falconer, Bogbury Witch, Lotus Cobra, alright, that's good. For one and a green, landfall whenever a land enters the battlefield under control. You may add one man of any color to your mana pool. It's a classic. Art by Chippy. And a foil Reeve Soul. Alright. Alright, Masters 25. Hordling Outburst. Arcane Denial. This is a pretty good card. Counter target spell and do some other stuff. It's a buck ninety-eight from Commander Legends. This one is that's twenty-five buck ninety-seven. That's good. Weaver. Primal Clay. Got Core Firewalker. Curiosity. Utopia Sprawl. I'm gonna scan this one. And a Chroma's Vengeance. Yeah, 618 for a Utopia Sprawl. The Chroma's Vengeance, 4 and 2 white. Destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. Got Cycling. Ooh, there we go. Foil Mythic. Uh, yep, reprinted a few times. A Chroma, Angel of Fury by Therese Nielsen. See the uh, resemblance there? Legendary Angel for 5 and 3 red. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Can't be countered. Flying Trample. Protection for white and blue. Pay red to give it 1 plus zero and you can morph it it's got a lot of stuff going on there and art is beautiful amazing all right so not the super biggest card anymore it thinks it's a planes yeah the the scanner's gonna have trouble with this no it's not a, it's not the same planes all right come on i'm gonna have to like tell it what it is hold on uh chroma Angel of Fury from Masters 25. Regular is a buck ninety-one. The foil, maybe like four bucks. Nine forty-nine. Very cool. Very good one there. Okay. Ultimate Masters. With the side opener that I couldn't get open. We got an ooze. Should I do? Well, I don't know. We got a foil and a rare. I'm gonna to shuffle those to the back. I don't know. Just bear with me, you guys. Misfail Plains, Hero of Iroas, Golgari Thug. That's a good uncommon. And can the scanner see it? It's not a brood birthing. What is your deal today, scanner? That's a really dark card. It's having some issues right now. There we go. I got to get rid of that glare. Buck for Golgari Thug. An apprentice, an iguanar, the twins, a warrior, a dragoon, faithless looting, good common. Nothing super big, really. Vessel of Endless Rest. Conviction. We got a foil think twice. And a lava claw. Reach around. Come on now. I did the whole shuffle to the back thing for this. Oh well. Lava claw reaches. 
And there's a battlefield tapped. You can add black or red, and then it can become a man land. It's a buck, 46. All right, double masters. Uh, not a side opener. So hard to tell sometimes. Oops, Sylvan Might. Dark Steel Axe. Our Gaivin Restoration. We got a Chromatic Star. I don't know if this is going to be over a buck. Hey, it's, a, it's exactly a buck for the 10th edition version. Double Master's only 50 cents. That's right. Apprentice Wizard Inspector is actually pretty good. I'll check that one as well. And eh, reprinted in Mystery Boosters. Disciple of the Vault. Cogwork Assembler. Gore Clan Rampager. First Rare. Riku. Two Reflections. We got a Mythic. Two, a green, a blue, and a red. Um, legendary. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may play pay blue and red. If you do, copy that spell. You may choose new targets. Never another non-token creature enters the battlefield under control. You may pay green and blue. If you do, create a token. That's a copy of a creature. Great commander, right? And the next one is going to be a noble hierarch. So pretty good pack right there. 687. Mythic first, then a rare. Noble hierarch has exalted, and you can tap it for green white or blue it's the classic and did not get a foil rare 1445 the card used to be 50 bucks before it got reprinted a bunch weapon surge and a heartless pillage are the foils there and a germ token all right we'll do some modern horizons and we'll do some um box toppers i've been sitting on these box toppers forever since i opened these boxes in the first place like two years ago we got soul herder uh art card uh, I think I spoiled the rare there. We got a snow cover plays and a sunbaked canyon. Oh, a nice foil altar of dementia. Altar of dementia. Can it be seen by the by the scanner? Of course not. Cause it's foil. All right, we'll do the sunbaked canyon. Canyon. It also is having trouble. Twenty bucks. So those are coming back up finally. Twenty ninety five. I'm going to add in the altar. Altar of Dementia, Modern Horizons, $8.99 for the regular foil. $14.99, so that was a good pack. Talismans are pretty decent out of here too, I think. $0.50, cents, reprints again. Rot Widow pack, Urza's Rage, downshifted from Rare. Winter's Rest, Weather the Storm, Changeling Outcast, some comics, there we go, Modern Horizons 2, good reprints in these sets here, that Lightning Spear, so shiny, Crawler, well not just reprints, they've got a lot of new cards in these Modern Horizons sets, right, Step 3, Mystic Redaction, Showcase, Abiding Grace, Captain Ripley Vance, and Bone Shredder, and Scion of Draco, or Draco. For 12 is a 4-4 Dragon Artifact uh, Domain. This spell costs 2 less to cast for each basic land type among lands you control. So, 5 color deck, you get a 10 mana discount. Flying, each creature you control has Vigilance if it's white, Hex if it's blue, Life Loop if it's black, First Strike if it's red, and Trample if it's green. Does that get played? Not too much. It's a buck ninety-nine, and we got a BC. All right, it is box topper time. Ultimate box topper. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Let's see what's in there. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably a lava claw reaches. <laughs> It's kind of how my luck has been. I, I, I can't remember. I opened several boxes of Ultimate Masters um, years ago. And um, kind of about 50-50 did, about on my box topper. So let's see here. What is it going to be? It is going to be an Ancient Tomb. That's a good one. I'll take an Ancient Tomb. Very nice as an Ultimate box topper. Add two colorless mana to your mana pool. Ancient Tomb deals two damage to you. That's a, that's a hit right there. All right, let's see. It, can the scanner see it? That's going to be the real question right now. Oh, it actually did see it. Ultimate Masters Box Tapper, $129.99. That is what I'm talking about, people. Let's get a sleeve on that one. 
And guess what? We get to do it again. Double Masters box topper. Right here. Right now. Let's do it. We get two box toppers out of this. So, what is it going to be? Let's flip over this one first. Kalia the Vast. For one, a red, a white, and a black. It's a legendary human cleric with flying. Whenever Kalia the Vast attacks an opponent, you may put an angel, demon, or dragon creature card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped in attacking that opponent. Non foil. Wow, 69 69 for a borderless Kalia non foil version. Still very, very nice. Hey, that surprised me. I didn't realize it was that much. All right, last one. All the marbles. What's it going to be? Academy Ruins, Legendary Land. Add a colorless, or you can pay one in a blue. Put target artifact card from your graveyard on top of your library. That one's 20 bucks. All right, so did pretty good on the box covers there. Well, that was that. That is the end of the Masters, one of every Masters series. Let me know what you think down below. Have you been watching this series for quite some time? Have you enjoyed it? I really appreciate everybody that watches it been uh, a lot of fun to do I like reading all your comments uh, about just memories on all these cards and and uh, how you use them it's, it's just a, a fun time for me so thanks again tragic MTG I'll catch you in the future